If you use Microsoft Teams to edit documents like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel files, you may have found that when you're using Teams, you have to open the file in a desktop app because it doesn't provide all of that capability through the Teams interface. Now that, of course, isn't a bad thing. It takes just a couple of seconds to do, but actually, if you're working on multiple documents every day, every week, that time soon adds up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can remove this process, and you can actually change it so it opens in your desktop app every single time in Teams. No need for you to open it in desktop manually every time. So let's go and see how I can make a very simple change to get that working for you today to save you a whole heap of time. Of course, if you like this video, hit the like button and follow for more in the future as well. Anyway, let's go and check it out. When we're working with our customers in Microsoft 365, we often hear a complaint. That would be when they're working with Office documents, be it Word, PowerPoint, files, and Excel, when they click into a file inside of Teams, it opens using the Teams editing experience, and that Word opens inside of Teams. You can, of course, begin making changes using this experience, both on the web and through Teams. And this version of Office is called Office Online. It's actually run inside of the browser and therefore provides you the ability to make changes. But often, formatting issues can occur that don't fully align when you're looking them through the web version of Office Online. Likewise, some additional features are not accessible or available when you come to use these apps. That means you have to then go into the editing button at the top of Teams or inside of the browser and select open in desktop app to open that document and begin making changes in the traditional version of Microsoft Word and save those changes back using auto save in the top left, which is of course switched on because that document is stored inside of Teams and also SharePoint behind the scenes. But what if I could show you a way that you don't have to go through all of those clicks? Instead, you can come out of the desktop version of Office and then come out of this dialogue here. Now, in this scenario, we can have it that Microsoft Teams, when you work with any of your files moving forward, will automatically open inside of the desktop app, being inside of an Office application, be it PowerPoint, Word, or Excel. So to achieve that, we're gonna go back into Teams, and from here, in the simple Files tab inside of Teams, we can click into the freed up menu inside of your Files tab next to one of our Office files, and next to Open, we can set where we wanna open that file. But that will only apply when you first open that file. Once again, the next time you open it, it'll go back to the Teams application or Word Online. Instead, go to Change Default, and here, you can now change a default. So instead of Teams being our default application, I'm gonna set it to the desktop app and then click on save. The next time I now open a document or a PowerPoint or Excel file, as we can see here, it'll now skip entirely that experience in Teams and also the web application. And I'll open directly on the desktop version of my PowerPoint app here. And it'll sync all the changes back just like we did through the Teams experience. So that's a very simple way of changing it there. You also have the option in the freed up menu under the settings tab inside of your Teams desktop app. And once again under here, you can change where those files will open. Go to the files tab and under here, the file open preference is once again shown. Teams desktop app or browser for those Office files or Word, PowerPoint, Excel. You can make that change whenever you actually feel like doing that. And of course, you can change it back. And it's just to note that setting isn't globally applied. So if you have a couple of laptops, sadly, you have to change on each of your Teams applications installed on your device. But otherwise, a handy way to improve the way you work. And that's it, as simple as that. You now have a process in Teams to open those documents inside of your desktop apps. There is no need for you to click the button every single time, and that's gonna save you some time. Hit the like button if you did like this video, Love it if you could follow us to find even more great videos like this. Not forgetting, in the comments below, you will also have access to a free 365 ebook we've created for you, and you can download that for free. Otherwise, we'll be seeing you in the next one.